Welcome into the Quakes Post Game Show. Sammy O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley, and we'll recap every home game here at Lone Mart Field. Tonight, they fall 6-3 to three to the Lancaster Jet Hawks, dropping their third straight and the first two here in a four-game series against these Lancaster Jet Hawks. Well, Devin Smelter started on the hill for the Quakes. He dipped into the seventh inning, and when he left, the game was tied at three. Big part to Abondel Isabel hitting his 23rd home run of the season, a three-run shot to the deepest part of Lone Mart Field. And when he left, Tony Gonsolin came in. Smelter left a pair of guys on, and then Zach, it kind of fell apart from there, and the offense just never able to catch up. Yeah, Tony Gonsolin, unfortunately for him, he gave up the runs. And look, it's a tough situation to come in with two runners on and nobody out. Almost got out of it with two outs, walked a batter with two outs to load the bases, and then gave up the essentially three-run double. Only two RBIs were awarded to Miles Jones, but a big hit nonetheless for him. Ultimately, this is a tough win for the Quakes, losing their third straight. But as you mentioned, the Abondel Isabel home run, that was one of the more impressive home runs we've seen, not only here at Lomar Field, but all season long. An absolute blast out to dead center field. His 23rd of the year, and he now takes over the California League lead for home runs from his teammate, DJ Peters, who still has 22. But a lot of offense, a lot of potential with this team. The power is going to have to pick up. That home run snapped a three-game stretch where the Quakes didn't hit a home run. So if they can continue to launch the ball out of the ballpark like they have been all season long, that's really going to help things out on the offensive side because the offense isn't shaping now. It doesn't look like they're going to produce a lot of small ball type of runs. Yeah, Quicks do get the loss here tonight, 6-3, to three, but still in first place in the Southern Division. Some positive energy there. Lancaster gaining a game, but luckily the Inland Empire 66ers dropping a game. So still a four-game lead over them, three over the Jet Hawks. But, Zach, this game tomorrow becomes even more important. Andrew Thurman going on the hill for the Quakes and a pretty good guy over there for Lancaster going as well. Makes for a good pitching matchup tomorrow. Yeah, Brandon Gold, who's going for Lancaster, was really good his last time out against the Quakes. Shutout baseball. So it's going to be important for Rancho once again to get that offense going because Andrew Thurman has been good as well. But because he started in the bullpen, he's been limited in his starting appearances here with the Quakes in limited time. It'll be his third start of the season tomorrow. So hopefully, again, Rancho can get that offense going, find a chance either to launch the ball out of the ballpark in a consistent way, or on top of that, just produce runs because this three-game skid is not necessarily because of the offense, obviously losing 10-5 to a couple nights ago here to Modesto, but uh, this is, this is going to be really important for the Quakes to continue to try and build that offensive structure as we head towards the postseason. Well, the Quakes do fall here tonight, 6-3 to three to the Lancaster Jethawks, but we have another one here tomorrow at Lone Mart Field. Game three of this four-game series against the Jet Hawks. Same time, 7.05, Andrew Thurman on the hill for the Quakes. We hope to see you out here. Well, for the Quakes postgame show, I'm Sammy O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.